In this video, we'll cover all the magic items in Mobile Legends. The goal is to help you grasp how each item functions, allowing you to create a customized build that suits your hero and playstyle. Say goodbye to blindly copying random builds. Let's dive into the video. Let's kick things off with the Enhanced Talisman. I won't bore you with the base stats of each item, but I'll break down the unique effects for a better understanding. Effect 1. Your hero regains 50% mana every 10 seconds, translating to a cool 1.5% mana per second. Effect 2. It boosts your max cooldown reduction by 5%. Normally capped at 40%, this item pushes it up to 45%. The Enhanced Talisman is perfect for heroes caving cooldown reduction. It not only adds 20% cooldown reduction, but also lifts the cap. Best suited for mana hungry heroes. It's not a go-to for those focusing on high magic power, due to its modest magic power stats. Keep this in mind when building your hero. Now let's talk about the Winter Trinkion, which leans more towards a defense than offense. Upon purchasing this item, you gain an additional active ability with a 100 second cooldown. When activated, your hero freezes for two seconds, no movement or attacks allowed. However, during this time, you become immune to damage and crowd control effects. This item proves valuable against burst damage heroes like Gushin or Helkert. It acts as a shield protecting you from their deadly combos. Additionally, it's handy when your skills are on cooldown, offering a protective breather in intense moments. Winter Trinkion, your go-to defense. Now let's delve into the third item, the Feather of Heaven. This one leans more towards offense, but has a nice user base. Firstly, your basic attacks inflict additional damage, the amount being tied to your total magic power. Secondly, it grants a 6% boost in attack speed after each basic attack, stacking up to 30%. The Feather of Heaven shines on magic heroes relying on basic attack for damage, following an offensive build. It significantly amps up your damage per second, especially beneficial for heroes like Esmeralda, Karina, Harley and Julian. Enhance your magic prowess with the Feather of Heaven. Moving on to the Necklace of Durance, a strategic item designed to counter specific heroes. Effect 1. Your hero gains 20% of max HP and mana, up on leveling up, a handy boost. Effect 2. The crucial counter effect, causing your skills to reduce the healing and shield effect for 3 seconds. Watch for the icon indicating the inflicted hero. Choose this hero when facing off against heroes with potent healing abilities, like Estus, Uranus and Ruby. Not every magic hero utilizes it efficiently. It's particularly effective for those with low cooldown and multi-target skills. Early incorporation into your build is wise to benefit from the HP and mana boost upon leveling up the Nexus of Durance, your counter strategy tool. Now let's explore the Divine Glaive, a key item for reducing the magic defense of your enemies. Keep in mind that both Divine Glaive and Genius Wand serve this purpose, but we'll discuss the latter a bit later on. Divine Glaive features two unique passives. Firstly, it grants your hero 40% magic penetration, meaning you ignore 40% of your target's magic defense. Additionally, the second effect provides an extra 0.1% magic penetration for each point of magic defense your target has, maxing out at 20%. This makes Divine Glaive an Excellent choice for offensive heroes facing teams with substantial magic defense. However, be mindful that Genius Wand might be a more effective option depending on the specific in-game situation. Choose wisely based on the battlefield dynamics. Now let's talk about the Holy Crystal, a powerhouse of an offensive item. On top of the 100 magic power it grants, it also boosts your magic power by 21 to 35%, depending on your hero's level. This is a crucial addition for almost all magic heroes craving the highest magic power, as it provides a significant magical punch. Consider incorporating the Holy Crystal a bit later in your build. The higher your hero's level, the greater the percentage of magic power it adds. Secure this gem to unleash devastating magical abilities and make your hero a force to be reckoned with. Odette, Farsa, Aurora and Eudora are just a few of the heroes who need this item in their build. Let's delve into the Concentrated Energy, 
an offensive item tailored for specific heroes. The first unique effect bestows a remarkable 20% spell value, the highest among all magic items. In simpler terms, your skills heal your hero by 20% of the damage dealt. The second effect involves stacking, accumulating up to 6 stacks. Each stack adds 5 magic power, and when reaching the maximum stacks, your magic damage increases by 12%, a significant boost. This item is reserved for heroes with unleashed continuous damage through their skills. It's less effective for those with high burst damage combos, as it takes time to reach the maximum stacks. Choose concentrated energy wisely for sustained magical onslaughts on heroes like Alice, Cyclops, Lunox and Lilia. Now let's discuss the Ice Queen Wands, a straightforward item with a single unique effect. Upon dealing damage to your targets, it slows them by 10% for 2 seconds. This effect can stuck up to 3 times, reaching a maximum slow of 30%. Similar to the Necklace of Durance, this item pairs well with heroes who utilize area of effect damage skills with low cooldowns. The goal is to activate the slowing effect frequently. For heroes specializing in area of effect damage, the Ice Queen Wand is a valuable addition to their arsenal. Stay tuned for the next item, which is also perfect for such strategic builds. Now let's explore the Burning Wand, featuring a single unique passive. Whenever your hero deals skill damage, it burns the target causing damage 3 times, each hit equal to 1.5% of the target's max HP. This effect can stack up to 6 times with each stack increasing the magic damage by 2 to 4, the increment being tied to your hero's level. This burning effect proves highly effective for heroes relying on skill damage that hits multiple targets, preferably with a low cooldown for frequent activation. Heroes like Valor, Chang'e, Eve and Liu Yi benefit greatly from this item. Notably, the Burning Wand shines against high HP enemies, given its damage is based on the target's max HP. Consider this strategic item for maximizing damage output against bulkier foes. Now let's go over the Stardium Skites, our 10th item, an offensive choice tailored for specific scenarios. Featuring a single unique passive, this effect triggers when casting a skill, causing your next basic attack to deal additional true damage. The damage is influenced by your hero's magic power, and as true damage, it bypasses the target's defense. Furthermore, activating this effect boosts your movement speed by 10%. The Starlium Skite is a strategic pick for heroes with an offensive build who rely on their basic attack for damage. Heroes like Corina, Quinever, Herod, and Julian can effectively capitalize on this item. Choose wisely for a potent combination of magic power and true damage in your arsenal. Now let's talk about the Clock of Destiny, a hybrid item that brings a blend of magic power and HP to the table. This item boasts solid base stats, further enhanced by its unique boss. Every 20 seconds, it accumulates one stack adding 20 max HP and 4 magic power, with a maximum of 15 stacks. Upon reaching maximum stacks, it grants an additional 5% magic power and 600 mana to your hero. Ideal for heroes seeking a balance of high magic power and HP. The Clock of Destiny pairs well with items like the Holy Crystal. Given its time-dependent effects, it's advisable to incorporate this item early in your builds to fully capitalize on its benefits. Keep time on your side with the Clock of Destiny. Now let's delve into the Blood Wings, the priciest item on the list and the one with the most substantial magic power bonus. Featuring a single unique passive, this item grants your hero a shield based on 200% of your magic power. This shield regenerates every 20 seconds. And while active, it provides an additional 30 movement speed to your hero. Bloodwings prove to be a splendid choice for heroes in need of abundant magic power, especially catering to high burst damage heroes such as Veil, Eudora, and Aurora. Embrace the power and protection of the Bloodwings in the heart of battle. Now let's discuss Fleeting Time, an item tailored for specific heroes and strategic plays. Featuring a straightforward unique passive, it reduces your ultimate's current cooldown by a significant 30%. This proves invaluable for heroes with extended cooldowns on their ultimate ability or those who frequently secure kills or assists. Fleeting Time synergizes well with the Burning Wand, 
aiding in accumulating more assists through its burning effect. Additionally, it complements with the enhanced talisman, ensuring a swift cooldown reduction. Consider integrating feeding time into the builds of heroes like Angela, Eve, Diggy and Estes, enhancing their ultimate prowess and strategic impact on the battlefield. Seize the moment with fleeting time. Now let's explore the Lightning Truncheon, another offensive gem in your arsenal. After buying this item, every 6 seconds it adds an additional magic damage effect when casting a damage skill. The extra damage is calculated at 120% of your magic power and hits up to 3 enemies. Activating this effect also grants a 30% boost in movement speed. The Lightning Truncheon finds its home with heroes boasting substantial magic power, capable of delivering high damage and featuring long-range attacks for ease of targeting. Consider integrating it into the builds of heroes like Veil, Farsa, Odette and Eudora and unleash electrifying power on your foes. Finally, let's delve into the genius ones. The companion item to Divine Glaive, reducing matching defense of the targets. In contrast to Divine Glaive's percentage page reduction, Genius Wand opts for a point based approach. Damaging enemies with your skill reduces their magic defense by 3 to 7 points, stacking up to 3 times for a 2 second duration. Additionally, it adds 10 magic penetration. Like the Necklace of Durance, Ice Cream Wand, and Burning Wand, this item shines on heroes with low cooldowns and the ability to deal damage to multiple targets. The key difference from Divine Clave lies in the fixed points reduction, proving more effective against heroes with low or without magic defense. The reduction may even turn their magic defense negative, rendering them more susceptible to magic damage. Moreover, the Genius Wand's effect applies directly to the enemy hero, enabling your entire team to capitalize on the reduced magic defense. This becomes especially advantage if your team comprises multiple magic power heroes. Choose Genius Wand strategically to penetrate the defense of your foes and amplify your team's magical onslaught. Now let's explore the Flash of the Oasis, the newest addition and a highly specific item tailored for certain heroes. This item features two effects. The first one enhances the healing effect by a substantial 12%. The second effect introduces a shield for both you and your allies after casting a healing or a shield skill. The shield can reach up to 1500 points, lasting 3 seconds and activates only when the hero is below or drops to 35% HP within 5 seconds. This effect can trigger once every 60 seconds for each hero. Importantly, every activation reduces the cooldown of the caster's skills by 2 seconds, providing extremely valuable particularly during team fights. Flash of the Oasis is a must have for heroes with healing or shielding abilities such as Estes, Minotaur, Angela. Rafaela and Lolita. Ensure this item finds its place in their builds to maximize their supportive capabilities and team fight contributions. So hopefully you now have a better understanding of the magic items and how you should use them. If you have any question or comments, please use the comment section and I'll try to respond. Stay tuned for the video about the attack and defense items as well. And in the meantime, you can check out this video about the best settings in Mobile Legends.